is the hidden side of it all. We, we see the nice, good front where uh, the press shows these people as in their, their suits and ties and looking intelligent and wise. But then there's this ritual side, this hidden ritual side of them. And like if you're someone like Hillary and you're going to this the Chateau de Amaroy, and I don't speak French, so I probably butchered the name there, but it's a castle that I exposed. I found out about the castle in 1991 when I was working with people that were trying to get out of the Illuminati. These were were people that had done rituals in the castle and knew about it. By the way, let me stop you. It. Again, I didn't believe your book when I first read it. And then the Sunday Times of London came out with a separate castle in Burgundy where all these women escaped and the cops got there and there were a bunch of dead women and women in cages. And it turned out it went to the top leaders of France. So the whole thing got shut down. But this actually came out in the news after I read your book years later, I saw the same stuff. Exactly. I mean, I mean folks, spread. and I'm like, oh, Fritz Springmeyer, this goes too far. And then, and then I see it in the news. It's just, God help us. Stay, stay right there. Uh, Fritz Springmeyer is our guest. And I got those congressional hearings where they're asking Rumsfeld, well, DynCorp runs these child kidnapping rings. Are you going to do anything about that? And he goes, no. Uh, they, they were given a one year penalty on these contracts in that area of Europe. Well, no one goes to jail. And he goes, no. I mean, folks, oh, man, I tell you. We're on the. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m., and I'll be live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., 5 to 7 Eastern. I uh, continue to mean to plug some of our new affiliates, and I will do that at the start of the next hour. Uh, but I am opening the phones up uh, for Genesis listeners. Uh, if you would like to call in and ask a question, uh, of Fred Springmeyer. We haven't opened the phone system up yet, I noticed, but I'm opening it now. I'd love to hear from you. Questions for Fred Springmeyer, 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Okay, going back to the author of Bloodlines of the Illuminati, an incredible book, and it's a Dallas phone book size full of documents and uh, photos. Uh, you're not going to be able to put this book down. Fritz, continuing from that point, you've gotten to that being in the European press, the satanic rituals, the police, the judges, the the, the uh, report of the royal family. They're always finding dead bodies. They just found a new dead teenager on Queen Elizabeth's property right by her house the other day. Uh, it's just a routine thing. Uh, but uh, please continue. Yes. Um, uh Earlier, you ask about some of the names of, of their gods. Uh, within the women's branch, we were talking about the Mother of Darkness castle there near Munro, Belgium. And uh, the, the kind of rituals that will go on there, there will be hierarchy rituals. These are high-level rituals. And these uh, Illuminati uh, members are programmed multiples. They're multiple personalities. So they have personalities that take part in the rituals. One, like for the women, there's a triad goddess system where it's mother, where it's maiden, mother, and crone. And a lot of these things actually are around us, and we don't even realize it. Like one of the crone figures, Calic, another one of her names is Caledonia, another crone that's related to Cali is Cali and California. California is the sea hag. California is the sea hag. It's, it's all about gods and goddesses. And just like Eulogia at Skull and Bones, it's admitted they worship Eulogia there, which is a hag. But, but I mean, let's continue to break this down. It's just incredible. You're saying this, it sounds wild, but it's all right there if you've done uh, the research. Yes. And it's, once you start realizing that there's this whole substrata around us that uh, of this occult world. There's occult symbology all around us. And they're not just and, programming us, uh, animal psychology, Pavlovian psychology. This isn't new. It's just a modern packaging. They themselves come from a programming cult. That's what these rituals are. Ancients learned mind control. That's why every ancient society tortured, had human sacrifice, made the king sometimes kill his own kids. It's all about the priest class totally dominating. Continue with the women and then the men, but who's at the head of it? Continue. 
Well, uh, within the women's branch, the, they have Grand Dame, and um, that's, a, that's the final level. Uh, you, have, you, you have these families, and there's five inner families, and then there's 13 top families. And then uh, in, in, the, in the next ring, you have like 500 uh, inner families. Um, and it's like peeling back an onion. There's, you know, you've got the inner core that works through the next level, next level, next level. And so uh, you have all of these rituals, all these committees, um, councils of 13, a, a Sanhedrin of 70. You've got so many different organizations. And one thing. Notice the I super Congress is 12 members of the Congress and the president, the 13th. Again, always counterfeiting Christ. Yeah, they, they enjoy that number 13 for these councils. Uh, so, let's see. We're <laughs> Continuing, you were getting into the different, uh, the, you were talking about the Sanhedrin. Yeah, I, I, was, I was discussing how there's, there's um, not one person is running the show like we would, we would think, um, because... What happens is, is you're born into this and you're as, as somebody who's been born in, even if you rise to the top and even if you have a lot of power, you're still signing on to the plan. The plan was created. You know, it's, it's a group thing. It's, it's, um, and, and it's something that's been going on for a long time. So they have long range plans. So these agendas aren't just snap decisions. The, the the idea that they were there would be a third world war has been around for for over 200 years oh, all the top masons and illuminati people like Weishaupt wrote books about it as you know in 1770s right. they even described so, the three wars yeah yeah so we're so so these things are are 10 year plans 30 year plans 50 year plans 100 year plans they have these long range plans and then they have these systems to bring them about. Uh, going back to how the control filters down, they've divided uh, life into six major areas. Um, they take what uh, God uses to sustain the world, truth, love, and, and things like this, and there's a twisting of those things, and they make a system out of it. So therefore, you end up with the healthcare system, the political system, the financial system, like Wall Street, the banking system. You have a system of control. Uh, and so to get these necessities of life that we, we feel we need, we end up linking ourselves to these powerful controlling system it's about overthrowing creation becoming god taking things over so we have to go to them as if they're god and we're born into a giant lie not just mind control but a physical lie that's how they try to take free will away exactly you said it better than i did <laughs> no i didn't no you're absolutely right but continue on this line well said uh that's that's exactly and, and, and so from the time we're born, we're born into this system, and it systematically uh, controls us and steals our freedom, and all the while telling us, oh, you're free, you're this or that, you're making the decisions, you know. Yeah, like, like the American people, how often have I heard, heard people say, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't complain about your president because we were the ones that elected him. No, 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 people, you didn't elect that president. <laughs> they uh, select who you can then pick from and then even that's a fraud that's why ron paul is kind of showing that it's all theater because he is one of the only real people to come along in a very long time and we see the system together acting as one to ignore him to lie about him to spin i think this is really revealed to people just how lockstep the corporate whore media is but in that as why, why is the system losing a lot of power right now fred from my research, uh, their system is not uh, right as they get close to getting everything they've wanted. 
right here at the end, right at the jump point where they're supposed to go from incremental to fast, things are not going well. Things are getting out of control for them. Uh, do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, there has been some uh, rubber band effect is, is the term we used to use. That is, people in power, when they give a command, there's a big rubber band effect of when it gets what the, the command gets stretched to something else by the time it reaches the the bottom tier. Um, yeah, things have gotten sloppy for them, but they're uh, they're working on tightening things up. So uh, in the next few years, they uh, they're going to implement some plans to tighten things up. And we see that they're coming out saying we'll secretly arrest you. We're shutting down free speech, and you bet we're putting stuff in your shots, and we're going to force you to take them. Yeah. So there will be a whole range of uh, things. And uh, one thing that they're concerned about, especially with Americans, is Americans have too much freedom, too much money, too much mobility. And so you're going to see uh, United States humbled. And uh, I'm going to stop you again. Jim Tucker, who has been proven to have sources in Bilderberg. I've got some sub sources that have sources in Bilderberg. All they talk about is how we've got too much money and how they're going to make us financially bankrupt and how much they hate liberty movement and Ron Paul and myself and others I've been brought up. I mean, they really cannot stand it. And they want to use impoverishment as a tool of control and a post-industrial fake environmental movement. But even that's in trouble. But people need to understand. I mean, they they what you're saying, Fritz, is so accurate. But, but you're saying it from inside sources that you got instead of just learning it. I mean, I know you did as well separately out there, just kind of, you know, from the bottom up, you happened to bump right into people that had actually been in it. And I think that's why they got so scared of you and came after you. Yeah, I'm sure there were multiple reasons as to why I, I ticked people off. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it's hard to put your finger on just one reason but yeah you you kind of lumped it up uh, lumped it together there uh exactly uh and and two things that uh the insiders talked to me about that uh uh opened my eyes up uh a lot that we've discussed today was is bloodlines are important to these people they keep track of their genealogies fastidiously and also, control, mind control. The mind control is extremely important to them. And, um, and so that's why I, I uh, wrote several books on the mind control, and it's why I wrote the Bloodlines book. Um, it's not a casual um, topic with them. It, it's very important. And you'll notice, like the Rothschilds, which is one of the inner five families back in uh, – 1826, I believe it was, it, it became, there was a newspaper article that came out how the family had organized a meeting of all the heads of the family and taken a stand in the family meeting that they would only marry within the family. Well, that's, that's ra rather common within the Illuminati is they, they try to marry within their bloodline and, um, but, but, but you're right there is a scientific reason why royalty elites are always so macabre and psychopathic. Every mammal species that interbreeds becomes insane, vicious, psychopathic, unstable, unsocial. So right there, even if somebody isn't into spiritualism or, or, or Christian or whatever, scientifically, these are inbred crazy people. <laughs> So, and, and, and they're doing it intentionally.